Raider legend George Atkinson got a late start in life with his sons, but now he's absorbing every moment as his sons get ready to play football at Notre Dame. For former Raider great George Atkinson, life has always been about more than being an accomplished professional athlete in the NFL. With nine children, it's been about being a parent. My responsibility is to raise my kids, and that's what I did with all of them. Six years ago, at age 57, Atkinson made a life-altering decision when he asked his 12-year-old twin sons to come live with him. When kids start to make that turn from that 10, 11, 12, 13-year-old stage into a teenage, they start to think that they're a little, a little bit smarter than what they are, and you need that equaling force as a, with a, a father's uh, attention, a father's love, a father's discipline, a father's knowledge of the wisdom of what has, has happened. And I, I, I saw that they needed some guidance. Ironically, of all his children, it's his babies, number eight and number nine, who are the first to show an interest and flair for football, a talented tandem determined to surpass their successful dad. It's rewarding, actually, because you can sit down with your sons and talk something that you did for a living and share the experiences and feel the energy coming from them as the, this is what I want to do too, Dad. You know, I want to be better than you, and that's what their goal is. You know, I want to play better than you. Which is, hey, okay, good. Well, who's better to teach you than me? <laughs> George Atkinson the third. Josh Atkinson the first. <laughs> Also known as the Atkinson twins, George Sr.'s identical sons are near clones of their old man. George and Josh have spent the past four years tearing it up on the Granada High School gridiron in Livermore. George, the offensive force. Josh, the hard-hitting defender. Positions they were destined to play. As little kids, I guess I always lined up as a receiver, and he was a DB, DB. so we just, I guess, stick with that. With his sons taking their place on the side of the line that best suits their skill set, George Sr. found he had a place on the line as well, the sideline, as one of their coaches. The coach asked me, actually, and I stay out of his way because it's his thing. What I try to do is teach fundamentals, basics, footwork and angles, understanding what they're doing. When you got location, make sure that you feel run. You have the feel run, okay? Coming up, few former player greats make the transition to coaching. Find out George's key to success at the prep level and how, at age 63, he's bridged the generational gap with his teenage sons. After successfully raising seven children, six years ago, Raiders defensive legend George Atkinson took in two more, his twin sons, George and Josh. It takes a man to raise a man. There's definitely an uh, 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 interaction that a father has to have with his sons in order for them to grow up to be men themselves. At 57 years old, George Sr. had a full-time role in his son's lives and took it one step further when he began coaching the boys' Granada High School football team. Before they got to high school, we were working on bases. So um, they were pretty much ready when they went. As a matter of fact, they, they went right into the varsity. They actually encouraged me to because, you know, we have been working together. And they knew that I was going to focus on basics because that's, that's the kind of person I am. I believe in fundamentals and then whatever you do. If you don't have the foundation, you, you can't be successful at it. Few former great players make great coaches, but with age comes wisdom and patience. Now, at 63 years old, George has both. You become more patient and you become wiser, and those things that used to bother you when you were younger don't bother you once you hit a certain age because of the experiences that you've had, and you know better. George is selfless with his time. Anytime he can work with these kids, he does a great job, and they've all grown. They're all better as a result of uh, his teaching. And he'll tell you what you're doing wrong, help correct that. he also tell you what you did good as well. Not yeah, just, as well. Yeah, not just ground you. Where to go, where to go, where to block, where to block. But you can't put expectations on kids, and you can't think that they're going to be as great as you think they should be. Some will, some will not, but you can't put expectations. That's why it's so difficult for guys coming out of pros. 
George's playing days with the Raiders may be far behind him, but his epic run as the hitman and a member of the vaunted Soul Patrol is alive and well. We hear from our people how good he was, and our, we see a lot of film and stuff like that. He has tapes of when he's in the Super Bowl and saw him make plays there, and saw him when he was like a rookie returning punts, and that was just big. I mean, I was like, wow, it's something I want to like live up to and everything. And I mean, it's just motivation and inspirational. And don't doubt, Big George has instilled a tenacity in his sons, rarely seen in today's more two-hand touch brand of football. He said, oh, I played with two, two broken, broken thumbs, thumbs and still and pop punks and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. A lot of stories. So, yeah, and it's just, you know, wherever, you know, we, got wherever we get like a little cut of bruises, like it's whatever, you know. He yeah. played with two broken thumbs. I'm going to play with five broken fingers, you yeah. know. Yeah. You gotta so just got to grind it out and play as hard as you can. Way to go. Hey, let's get the others now. Let's go get the others. In his quest to spend more time with his sons, he's managed to adopt a few more kids grabbing their attention with the bling of his Super Bowl XI ring, but making an everlasting impression with his priceless know-how. Everybody knows that he doesn't have to be out here. He's done it. His sons go out there and get the job done. He's out here just trying to help us and just preach his knowledge onto us, have us understand the game better so everyone has a better grasp on the game. Make sure you see the ball carrier. Now get a good recalm everything down. My life has changed as a result of this. The last four years have been just a tremendous eye-opener for me. You know, sometimes we go through life jaded. We see things certain ways. I'm just so blessed. I wouldn't have it any other way. Today, the Atkinson trio is nearly inseparable, a situation soon to change, as the current Matadors, who were among the most highly recruited athletes in the Bay Area with multiple scholarship offers, will join the Fighting Irish next season as freshmen. But the fleet-footed twins are confident about what lies ahead. We're looking forward to it, actually. I'm looking forward to get up in there and uh, show my best of what I can do and uh, hopefully start as a freshman. That's my, that's my main goal. He's always just a phone call away whenever I need him. George Atkinson was a football star and unquestionably has raised two of the best young athletes to come out of the Bay Area. But the fact that he raised two fine young men is truly his shining moment. I miss him. There's no question about that. I mean, come on. This is my sons, and we have a relationship. And uh, we're tight. 